Sometimes just having one of a kind is more than enough. Today we're looking at deduplicating our collections. Let's jump right in. In this example, I have a basket of fruits, which is really just a list of strings. We have apples, bananas, cherries, a couple more apples, capitalized apples and bananas and a durian. Now I don't know about you, but that seems like it's too many apples. To get a list of unique values from our original collection, we have a couple of different options. We can use the distinct function to turn our fruit basket into a list of unique fruits. When we print this out, you can see that we have removed the duplicate apples, at least the ones that had the same capitalization, and we kept any other elements in the list. If you also want to express in the signature that your collection only contains unique items, then you should probably reach for a set. And thankfully, we have a conversion function for this as well. We can take our fruit basket and turn it into a set. And if we look at this, we will find that the output is very similar, but we can see now that our variable is a set. The only thing we haven't addressed yet is the fact that some of these clearly have a different capitalization. If you want to make things really unique uh, based on some kind of metric that you define by yourself, uh, you can use the distinct by function. And you can essentially take this input string and say, I want to only compare the lowercase variants of all these strings. And at that point, if we print our really unique collection, we can see that all we are left with are apple, banana, cherry, and durian without any different spelling. One thing that's probably still worth pointing out here is that this lowercase call only happens for the comparison. Note how the values that we have in the output haven't been modified. This isn't a transform, it's just for the comparison that distinct by uses. To really drive this point home, I can take this capitalized apple, put it all the way to the top of the list, rerun this, and in that case, you can see that the all caps apple is the one that survives the distinct by check. So if you've got a bunch of things and you only want to have one of them based on a certain criterion, distinct, distinct by, and two set are your friends. Hope you found this one useful. I'll see you in another one. Take care.